After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kamsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants. Or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on him. We're on the brink of civil war. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but... I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. 
Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. The key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or didn't anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of, uh, get themselves set on fire these days. hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose. Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. The deviant who took a child hostage. that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding?
one of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. I trusted you and you lied to me. I'm sorry about what happened. But I can have you repaired and give you back your freedom. But you have to tell me where Jericho is. You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day... We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus, is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice, they'd have killed us all. You'll be alright. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've gotta leave now. Jericho. Y yes Yes, of course. Is 
that you, Marcus. Don't leave me again, Marcus. Don't leave! Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now!